Can I pump? Yes. Now, which tire you want pump now? I don't have the four. Uh, the four. Okay, I'll okay, we'll do a sharp sharp for you. Uh, but, but wait, your face looks so familiar. Okay, impossible now. Maybe with the green motor. Maybe you don't come here before. Mm, no. You look like one guy that has duplex at Ajami Estate. <laughs> Are you the one? Yeah, yes. You are the one? Yes, I'm the one. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wait, hey, <laughs> no, no, no. Don't tell me that this is what you do now. Do you remember me? No, huh? no I don't remember. No. You don't remember me? No. I'm the preacher that came to preach to you some years ago in front of your house. I came to preach Jesus to you. And you insulted me and asked me to go and hustle. Jesus gives peace of mind. And he gives a better life. Hey, 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 hold it there. Is this what you call a better life? No, answer me. The way you look is what you call a better life. If this is what you call a better life, I am not interested. Go somewhere and preach your Jesus. I wonder what is giving you guys boldness. You go about telling people about Jesus that's giving you a better life. Look at me. Without your Jesus, you have a wonderful house. Half fleet of cars. My business is doing well. What do I need your Jesus for? Sir, you see, you might think that everything is going well. But I'll tell you the truth. A life without Jesus is incomplete. Is this your own life complete? I'm better than you can see. I'm okay. And you're coming here to tell me about this your Jesus? The way you are? Please, go somewhere else and preach your Jesus. Remember? Remember? Is this you? I'm shocked. You're doing on this car? This is my car. You have changed. So what happened? My brother, a lot has happened. I don't know who is behind all that is happening to me. But all I can tell you is that everything is gone. I lost everything. My properties, my cars, my, my, my business is everything. I have to sell them so I can start something new. But everything crumbled again. I lost everything again. I became so wretched that I could not even fight for myself. And that was why I had to make up my mind to start this organizing business. Right now, I don't know. I don't know what is going on in my life. Everything, everything is gone. You see, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It is God that gives us the power to make wealth. He is the one that sets men up and brings men down. We cannot do without God. And let me tell you, this world is more spiritual than physical. You can't stay strong and last long in this world without holding on to something. It is either you are holding God so strong or you are holding the devil because this world is full of battles. I believe God allowed this to happen to you so that you will know that he is God. So that you will know that you cannot survive without him. Because everything in this world belongs to him. He gives to who he wishes. And he collects from whom he wishes to collect from. Look at me now. I remember you were mocking me. And you thought I was wasting my time preaching Jesus. But look at my life. Jesus has changed me. Jesus has given me my heart's desire. And on top of it, I still have the peace of mind. The greatest gift one can have in this world is the peace of mind. And I have it in abundance because I am in Christ Jesus. But the good news is that Jesus can still change your life if you are willing to give your life to him. You want to give your life to him? Brother, please. I'm ready. I went to give my life to you. Oh, that's a very good decision. I want to pray with you. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
I give my love to you today. I give my life to you today. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. <laughs> <laughs>